Hey guys, gals and legionnaires, Rykon here and welcome back to Let's Play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead episode 12. We're with Elliot and Elliot is on the outskirts of Shade Hill. Last episode we started investigating our houses here and I can actually see a little bit more of the town than I could before. We can see that there is a river running along the side of Shade Hill, how nice. Um, but something that I didn't notice last episode and I've only just noticed right now is that there is an NPC here, Keely McElroy. Well, Keely McElroy may be a friend, or Keely may be foe. We will find out. And, well, we'll see how Elliot interacts with individuals on the outside. Yeah, if they've got something we want, well, maybe we'll just take it. But I'm still going to play this smart. I'm not just going to be killing everyone I see. People are useful. They can be great bait. <laughs> <laughs> so, we are going to be heading back towards the house, and I think we're good to go. I think I've got everything here that we need, or well, rather everything that we don't need. We probably don't need to have those right now, or those. The makeshift crowbar we still want, because if a door is locked, it helps us get into it. Um, you can also use them on windows sometimes without them smashing, but hey, it happened this time. What can you do? Um, I'm thinking about getting rid of some of our medicine. It doesn't actually take a lot, but it takes up some volume. And at the moment, I think it's going to be worth it. I might keep the sanding solution just in case, because going blind with boomers is never good. Uh, we're going to drop everything else in for now as well, except for the aspirin and the antibiotics. Ah, we don't need the antibiotics either. Yeah, we're just we're going to go as light as we as light as we can really. We don't need to have all of those lighters as well. So we'll drop them in there. Great. Uh, I think that's probably going to do. Fantastic. Okay, so we are a little bit out of breath. And there is a hazmat zombie which is coming our way. The hazmat zombie could be helpful because they could have hazmat gear on. Which would be great. Um, so we're going to wield our crossbow. And we're going to try and take the sucker out. Unfortunately, the little map here isn't refreshing. Um, quite right, but that's okay. We'll make it work. We'll live. We will live. At least I hope. Okay, so he is lightly injured already. We're going to get let him get a little bit closer. And it sounds like it's stopped. Well, it sounded like it stopped raining, but it hasn't quite. Um, so we're going to start running again. We're going to just run up a little bit further. Get our reload on. And try and shoot again. Perfect. Man, Elliot's getting good. I like it. Um, wow, okay, so it was a she, and she had a Geiger counter, which could be very, very helpful if we're going to explore anywhere like the um, hazardous waste dump that we found before. Actually, was it hazardous or was it a toxic one? I can't remember. But um, this hazmat suit is pretty much almost, like, useless. Um, but we will take it for now. Um, I'm going to have to wear it for a second. No, we'll just dispose of that in the inventory. Um, I will take care of it in a second. It actually kind of look cool with that hazmat suit on. Uh, but we're going to drop it over here. Actually, we were, we, weren't, we were just carrying it, yeah. And we'll wield the crossbow. There we go. And you know what? Let's butcher you. Sorry, lady. But um, we need to do it. And we'll stop running as well. So, I didn't actually say last time, but when you are butchering, you are leveling up your survival skill, which is very, very helpful. Um, and it's just an easy way to, well, get free experience. So when you can afford to be doing it, try and do it. Can make all the difference. Okay, so we've got another shady zombie in here, I think. Um, so I will be cautious. Because um, it does seem that they are invisible when they're in the shade. So <laughs> that creeps the hell out of me. We don't need that lighter, so we'll leave it alone. Close up those curtains. Create more shade, which is very dangerous. The hoodie we will take, because um, the hoodie gives you storage. Because it's got like a little pouch at the front. And it's warm. Um, so it can actually be pretty valuable for any survivor to have, really. Um, so we, we, we're going to take it. And I'm going to keep on moving. And I'm just very nervous about running into another one of the uh, shade zombies in the shade um hard leg guards now we don't have any leg guards and holy shit there's a skeletal dog that's not good because skeletal dogs they they're skeletons and so firing a crossbow bolt at them 
ain't gonna do a hell of a lot. He can't see us right now, and I'm almost tempted to try and run for those and close the curtains. But he can't see us right now, so I'm gonna hope that staying in the shade is gonna help with that. Hope. Hope that it does. Um, yes, so the hard leg guards. We aren't wearing anything like that right now, and I'm not sure. Our legs are on 16 at the moment. We don't want to be going too crazy. We got knee pads, which are doing... Well, actually, they're not encumbering us at all, which is awesome. Um, yeah. We probably don't need to have the striped pants on anymore, so we're going to drop them. Drop in our pants, like so. And I'm going to take the leg guards. So we're on 16 at the moment uh, for... Uh, sorry. No, we're a little higher, actually, on our legs. We are getting some layering penalties. So I'm going to put on those, and it does put us up a decent amount, but um, the leg guards can make a big, big difference. So... Yeah, see, we're 24 plus 11, which ain't great. I'm just wondering where the la the layering penalties are coming in. It's, it's sometimes quite hard to see exactly where it's at. See, those are both worn next to the skin, so I don't know if there could be the compression shorts. We probably don't need to be having the briefs on right now, so let's go and drop them. See if that takes that 11 down at all. Um, oh shit, okay. I think that one might see us. Yes, he does see us, okay. So he's probably going to draw other ones to us as well, which isn't super good. Actually, that did drop us down, um, so we were getting a layering penalty on that. Do we need to have the... Yeah, well, I still kind of want to have the jumpsuit. Well, then saying that, if we swap the jumpsuit out, if we start wearing the hoodie instead of the jumpsuit, we might, might be okay there. Let's just have a look quickly, torso. Hmm. Yeah, you know what, we're going to do it. The encumberment is one. So, I'm just wondering what we would get from that hoodie. Oh, we chucked it on anyway. Let's, let's have a look and just see what it is. Encumberment is six. Shit. But if I take off the jumpsuit... Which actually takes a lot of time to do. Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna go into this back room, um, and by back room I mean outside because I didn't actually realise it was outside. And um, we probably need to try and sort ourselves out here because uh, yeah. So we're going to take off that hoodie. We're going to wear the jumpsuit again. We just have to make those work. And let's just go like that. Yeah, could be worse. Okay, so we didn't manage to get everything from that house, but it's not too bad. I just, I don't want to be dealing with that skeletal dog right now. It's not on my list of things to do. But over here, though, we do have a Gamma Globin shot, and we have a basement. Basements can be absolutely fantastic to explore, and that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to see if I can activate the crowbar again. Um, we tried to pry. So let's just keep trying to pry. Damn it, we broke the... Goddamn glass. So, it's just, I guess there's a chance that that can happen. So we'll take the saline solution. We'll take the shot. So it's a, it's an immune booster, I think. It's got concentrate, concentrated antibodies prepared for intravenous injection to temporarily strengthen the immune system. Great. We'll take it. Ah, oh, we'll take it. And we've got disinfectant and saline solution, so we'll definitely take both of those. The oxygen tank, I'm almost tempted to just take a hit from it right now. See, it provides a burst of energy, so, um, although I don't know if we can actually activate it. Let's, let's just see if we can activate it. We might need something to actually have with it. I'm not 100% sure on that. Activate. We breathe deeply from the oxygen tank. Let's do it again. Let's take a few hits. And let's drop it. Great. Okay. We can see that we're actually... We're, we're getting better. We, we're, I mean, we're still injured, but we aren't super injured at the moment. Just kind of trying to keep my eye out at the moment. Seeing what else we've got around us. Potato chips will take. I mean, it's just, actually, no, it's going to make us thirsty. We'll leave them. We can be a little bit more particular about what we take. 
Okay, but we do have a lot of food here, which is good. Um, the bottle of vodka I'm tempted to take for enjoyability purposes. But um, we're just going to grab everything in here now. Okay, and you know what? We're actually going to... We're going to eat just these little things here. Yeah. Because they will go off relatively fast, so we want to make the most of them while you have them. Bag of yeasts. Hmm. Could do some baking in time. We'll take it, because um, it's not it's not likely to spoil. What do we have over there? A disc fan. Okay. If this was Fallout 4, I'd be losing my mind. Oof. Happiness. Um, we'll take the wood saw, though. That's, that's a good find. And what do we got? A towel. Um, I would like to take the towel, because um, I think I'll be wet at the moment. Let's have a look. Let's go V. We are wet, so let's um, move away from the window, because we could get jumped. We don't need the dress. Um, and there is a basement, so you know what? We're, oh, crap. That gave me a fright. That gave me a fright. Oh, shit. What am I doing? It's a shade zombie. Open the curtains. <laughs> okay. Sounds like we've got another one of the shade zombies. Um, damn, did I... I don't think we killed it, though. It's just the shade. Um, let's see if we can reload in time. Oh, crap. Okay. Okay, we killed it. That's good. That's good. Whew. The raincoat I'm tempted to take because of the environmental protection from it, but uh, we're just going to leave it at that for now. Oh, shit. I just smashed the goddamn window. I was trying to close it. <sighs> oh, dear. Um, let's duck down here really quick. This could be really dangerous. Do we, do, we don't actually have a flashlight at the moment. But then again, we can see quite well in the dark, and that wasn't a good idea. So, <laughs> let's ignore the bashing. Um, let's try and open the door. Fire at him. Damn, we just straight up killed him. That was great. Reload. And hidden to here. So there might be nothing in here. It could be something. So, we're going to have a look. Close the door behind us. We can see relatively well enough. I don't need to use a flashlight, which is good. Looks like we're going to have general kind of supplies down here. We'll take the salt, the salt water. Uh, again, because it can be quite handy. Um, we'll probably drink one of those. Um, yeah, we're thirsty now. So let's let's go ahead and drink some of that water. Any moment right now, I see it. There we go. Clean water. Boom. Perfect. Great. Oxidizing powder. Well, we don't we don't really need much in terms of chemicals at the moment. Ammonia. Uh, I do see the zombie. We will take care of him in a second. Salt water will take. Although we are pretty much full in terms of what we can carry. Let's back up. Try and reload in time. Okay. Let's just bash him. There we go. Damn it, we've lost a steel bolt. Crap. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I do see a funnel up ahead, though, which I am very excited about. And I guess that was his blood before. Yeah, funnel, beautiful. So the funnels we can use to collect rainwater, which um, I'm I'm very excited about. Very excited about rainwater. Um, yeah, it's just it's a it's a way for us to be getting water. Um, on a regular basis. It's like when I'm inside a building, I can just leave it outside, slowly kind of collecting water while we're in there. Especially when you're sleeping somewhere overnight, you always want to chuck one out. Um, so, we are starting to become over-encumbered. So I'm actually just going to chuck the hoodie on because I'm crazy. And that's going to give us a lot more carrying capacity. Um, but it is going to make us much more encumbered in the torso region. See, we're on 35 plus 6, so not great. Not great. Could be better, but um, um, these need to be on the outside. I don't know if I should be doing both L pads and them, but they seem to be not causing too much uh, trouble. And they seem to actually be protecting us pretty well. Uh, where's my torso? There it is. Hello, torso. Okay. Um, yeah, no, we want the utility vest on the outside. Great. I'm happy with that. The leather backpack being that injured is slightly concerning to me. I really shouldn't have cut the other one up before. Something for us to watch out for. Charcoal. So we can use that to purify water in real life. I don't know what we can use it for in here. Um, there, there are a number of things that we can use it for, but... Um, mm, royal jelly is a hell of a find. So 
it's food and it comes from the beehives in this it is a translucent hexagonal chunk of wax filled with dense milky jelly delicious and rich with with the most beneficial substances the hive can produce it is useful for curing all sorts of afflictions it is fantastic and a really 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 good find i'm very very happy with that um so the we probably don't need all these bottles of salt water um i am tempted to, to let's see let's let's unload this um let's make sure we pour it on the ground and not consume the bleach um, I want to see, yeah, see, a gallon jug is great, because it's going to give us almost four liters of, of water, but it is heavy for us to just be carrying around. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold on to it for now, because we can fit it into our collection of things, and it sounds like, um, oh, it's upstairs, okay. All right, let's just, let's just stick to the walls for now. Oh, hello. We've got a lot of different electronics bits and pieces here, and uh, a sewer snake. It's um just okay. We don't need to smash it. Okay. Um. Yeah. This is this is a huge amount of electronics um bits and pieces. A small LCD screen. A pair of welding goggles is fantastic. Um. Does mean that if we find an, an acetylene torch, we can use it. Um. That's usually one of the the most frustrating things early on. And so if you find an acetylene torch, and just not being able to use it, an RC controller awesome um we'll try and keep it with us if we can a power converter we don't need to worry about that right now um i did see that i accidentally picked up um where are you the soldering iron we don't actually need the soldering iron we've actually got one already and there's a decent amount of solder here so i don't need that 20 solder so much see i mean look at that um and the screwdriver set i feel like i had one but we've only got a screwdriver here so what we're going to do is we're actually going to drop that screwdriver because um with the screwdriver set it means that we can do some much more intricate work with it as well so very good for us to have um reactor core expansion device what the hell this is an expansion device for use with a plutonium powered equipment with enough electronic skills you can attach this to an atomic tool to double the amount of plutonium it can hold Okay, so it's like a modification. Volumes 3, which is not ideal. Um, I might just have to drop that gallon jug now. I think we are. So let's head down to where my face is. <laughs> um, okay, alright. Just making sure that no one is actually getting in here. Process aboard extra battery mod. Volumes only one, we'll take it. Sounds like we might have quite a few people hanging around upstairs, so not super cool. Um, okay, let's um, let's take the solder. Do we need the copper wiring? No, I mean, we're not doing a huge amount at the moment. Okay, this could be handy, though, um, for jumping cars. So we are going to try and take that, although it's frustratingly quite heavy. UPS conversion mod. Great. We will take that as well. Yes, this is actually a pretty decent basement um, in terms of electronic modifications and the rest and, well, finding a ton of solder. Okay, but we do need to get out of here and it sounds like there's a lot of trouble going on upstairs, so let's um, head up. Okay, it's not too bad. Um, obviously, there's bashing going on here, so there is a zombie there that I'll have to watch out for. I'm going to open the door and see if we can... Ah, uh, it's a shade zombie, he's right in front of my face. Um, we did 67 damage. He's severely injured, so let's just try and smack him to death. Right. Okay. Let's see, we're going to smash the corpse, and I'm actually going to just try and move it. Um, because it's in the way of the door right now, so... We're going to go like this, and we're going to hit the comma, and we're going to move everything out the way. So that I can close the door. Let's reload. Just down to that one steel bolt now, which is a little concerning. What do we got? Some hard arm guards, huh? Yeah. Can of beer. I mean, there might be some books and other bits and pieces here. I'm just going to do a quick peek. Mm. Just try and peek at an angle. I'm just worried about that goddamn skeletal dog. Okay, what do we got over there? It's a fur hat, isn't it? Yeah. 
let's just go and close these. No, that's opening. Let's close it. And I don't want to smash as well. I'm just nervous that I'm going to smash these. Um, okay. So that we, we still have a decent amount of dead out on the streets at the moment. Tactical Handgun Digest might be worth us trying to grab. Because I think we can now. Yeah, we can. Romance novel we don't need to worry about. Um, Trying to see if there's anything else in here that I missed. No, it's just a file. Yeah. Okay. Alright, we're back on the outside. Just going to check my encumberment. Yeah, we're looking okay. We're under the effect of a stimulant, which was the um, oxygen that's still affecting us, I think. Okay. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark these houses as clear, because we've, we've, we've cleared them out. So, <laughs> let's see. Shift E toggles explored, so it just takes the color away from the house. Boom, nice and easy. So, I could continue to explore these houses up here. We, we do have Keeley McElroy. I'm tempted to try and meet Keeley. I, so I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to try and be ballsy enough to go and say hello. But Keeley might be in trouble at the moment and, uh, well, we ain't going to play hero, I'll tell you that much. Let's see, we've got some from the northeast as well, a zombie child. Um, I, I don't think we'll feel any remorse, um, as Elliot, <laughs> for killing zombie children. Let's see, where are you? Keely looks like Keely's running away and and it looks like Keely's gonna die because Keely's essentially going right past the um Yeah, the home improvement store. Um Keely might have also caught a glance at us. Oh, well, there's so many zombies up there. Yeah, she's she or he is dead. Not a chance, unfortunately. Um now, did we explore this house? I feel like we did. Yeah, we, we have, we have. Okay, so we're going to go and mark this as explored as well. So, we might be able to get to the next house without alerting any potential uh, monsters. Okay, we do have a shade zombie. We're in a jacuzzi at the moment. Let's just open this and let them come to us because, um, yeah, the movement speed on that's pretty crap. So if we can get that shade zombie to come into the window... Boom. Nice. We should be able to reload before he gets here. Ah, oh, crap. Maybe not. Blew him away anyway. Okay, let's smash that corpse real quick. Nothing else. Looks like we got a zombie child over there. Um, let's reload while we're here. Okay. Yeah, so I'm trying to move across this house here. But, um... Also, at the same time, just trying to be... Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. So there's quite a bit going on uptown from us. Uh, let's just have a look down here. What are we... What's this vehicle? It's a cube van. We might... Might try and jump the SUV. Um, yeah. Skeletal dog. Is it a skeletal dog or a zombie dog? No, it's a zombie dog. Okay. Zombie dogs aren't as bad. They're like Rottweilers. We can... We can... We can deal with that. Um, but that would have been Keely that did that. But yeah, we can see we've got all kinds of terrible other things up here. Um, I don't think we actually read this one before, so... A decaying human zombie, clad in tattered firefighting gear. It staggers aimlessly, reeking of smoke and decay. And what else have we got over here? I think we've got a yeah, decaying zombie. A once human corpse. It is discolored... It's discolored... Swollen flesh is riddled with festering wounds and open sores. Not cool. And an acidic zombie. Kind of like the zombie splitters, but slightly different. They don't spit the acid so much as leak it everywhere. A sickly looking dead one. Its skin looks especially thin, with a sticky yellow fluid flowing through the clearly visible veins. So the problem with them is that when you're up close attacking them, they'll be leaking acid all over the place. It's not cool. And we have a zombie child. It was only a child and as little and little is different. Just almost spat on the camera. Apologies. And it's little different about it now, aside from the hungry look in its eyes. You'd be hard pressed to not feel like you were killing an actual child by putting it down. Yeah. They can be deadly because they're quite fast and quite hard to hit from time to time. And finally we have 
A boomer. This boomer, normally swollen and ready to burst, has strengthened and solidified. The bile dribbling from its mouth also appears to have changed. Now, this is a huge boomer. Yeah. So they're much thicker, much more hard to uh, pierce with arrows and other such things. Not good news for us. That is a large quiver, however. That is good news. We need to get to that house. And we're going to do it. But that's going to be next episode. I've been Rykon. You have all been awesome. Be sure to like if you enjoyed. And until next time, stay tuned.